is joined right now on RealCulture.com by Jennifer Tanny. She's with Ag Canada, based out of Beaver Lodge, Alberta, and her specialty is in, I guess, in insects and pests. That's right. So insect pest management, uh, we do a lot of work with uh, canola insect pests, but a lot of other annual crops, and also one big area is a lot of pest management in uh, fescue seed production and like you seed seed production. Are you enjoying Farm Tech 2012? Uh, yes, it's my first time here, and I know it's a new uh, venue, but it seems to be really well organized, and yeah, it's. Uh, a pleasure to be invited and it seems to be really nice. So today, Jennifer, you're given a, a pest update for Alberta. Right. Is, is, there, is, there other, is there certain pests that we're really concerned about this year? Um, well, for the most part, the talk covers uh, insect pests that were a big problem in 2011. And it goes through a number of insect pests. It's sort of geared towards some of the northern peace production. But really, the pests that we're dealing with in 2011 and looking into 2012 are very similar pests that have been affecting all of the province and all of the prairies. So uh, it gives a bit of an overview of some of the big ones like lagus bugs and cutworms which have kind of been a big one. Uh, it goes through some of the incidents of some of those insect pests across the prairies and gives some maps and distributions and that sort of helps us look at risk assessments for next year and kind of projecting what might be the big crop pests. Um, then we also have some of the forecast maps for example for wheat midge and for the grasshoppers for 2012 and again those are tools for uh, producers to really assess what kind of pest risk they'll be looking at for 2012. Of course, the, the big thing in the talk is also the fact that environmental conditions will really factor into what kind of uh, crop we have, first of all, but then also the pests that really start to emerge as really the issues. So was, was our last fall, was this past fall conducive to bad pests in 2012, or...? Uh, yeah, it's a really good question. Uh, for some of our insect pests, uh, grasshoppers in particular, a long open fall is uh, really a little bit better for them, simply because we have prolonged egg, egg laying. And also then you'll have eggs at different stages. So that usually means for the next spring you'll have nymphs hatching over a longer period of time. So there's an example of an insect pest where this fall actually probably was very helpful, especially when you have drier soil conditions too. Most of the Alberta really is quite wet right now still, uh, just because of the excessive moisture we started with and got through the season. So uh, again, with grasshoppers, the forecast map is available on Alberta Ag's website, and uh, it's really looking ahead and suggesting that we have to do some infield monitoring, especially in the spring. Would you would you say that uh, farmers' awareness of pests? They're, they're very aware. Like, do you think we're more on top of it now, or is it, we still oh. have a big room for improvement? Do you um, understand the pests? I think, uh, yeah, there's a, a good question. For uh, monitoring, I think a lot of producers are, are fairly well equipped. There's certainly some very well-trained agronomists that are doing information and, and very aware of what to be looking for. Uh, I think the biggest key thing is that the monitoring is really pivotal. pivotal. Uh, we need to be out and be monitoring and, and looking within the field and not just let it go. Uh, and very few producers do that, really. What are, are there any online tools, or is there any uh, things you should you can recommend to producers to get more information on right. how to better, whether it's scouting for specific pests or anything yeah. like that? Yeah, so there are a lot of uh, different tools to use. Certainly, Alberta Ag's uh, website has a lot of information for specific web. Uh, for specific insect pests and some of the monitoring tools and the right way to do it. Because of course it's one thing to go and find them but you also want to start to apply some methodology so that you can compare it to economic thresholds and make really informed decisions on whether or not control is needed and will provide an economic benefit. Because yeah. controls are, you know, they are, they're, they are, there's a cost to them, right? And so you want to make sure you've got the right, you're measuring the right thresholds and you're properly counting the pest or the insect depending on what you're talking about. Exactly, and that's a, a really good key point because not all insects do monitor the same way. There are different insect stages and different times in the crop that mean that maybe you're doing sweep net sampling for ligus, maybe you're doing within field monitoring for something like Bertha armyworm, or you're doing uh, just some crop walking and, and visual assessments for grasshoppers. So timing is really key, the right way to do it and compare it to the economic thresholds. Those are all very critical.